Kelvin Hepner with Real Agriculture. We're at Ag Days in Brandon and joined by Daniel Badu of UCA Robotics in uh, the Somerset, Manitoba area. Daniel, can you fill us in on what this, uh, this machine or this unit is behind you? Uh, it's a completely robotic chicken coop. Uh, every day will move by itself. It could be all programmed via a smartphone. Uh, you can decide to move 50 times in one direction, then it will make a left and come back. It has an onboard GPS so you can maintain a straight direction. It has enough uh, water and feed storage for a week, so you only have to replenish it once in a while. Uh, also, it has a battery reserve of five days without sun because it is 100% solar powered. Um, aside from that, it is uh, temperature you control inside and the flap from open and closed depending on the inside temperature. So as an example, the manual control, you can open and close the flaps but normally this would be done all automatically. There's a trend for and high demand for pasture-raised chicken. This is taking it to uh, a high-tech efficient uh, place, I guess? Yeah, exactly. Since pasture chicken is trending right now, uh, the only problem with that back in the day was predators and uh, just the labor involved in moving those coops by hand. Well, this machine kind of takes that all away and does it all automatically. You can even monitor this machine from inside your house because it does have a camera inside. Hmm. So this is autonomous, high-tech chicken farming. Exactly, it's, a, it's completely autonomous. Mm -hmm. So we got manual control here, so you can control everything here manually if your auto system is off. Uh, for example, your flaps, you can open and close here, uh, move the coup forward and backwards, turn your wheels in the back or, or your rear tires. Um, it has an automatic system, so you can turn them on here. Manual feed, so if you just want to turn your feed auger manually. There's auxiliary lights, so you can put work lights as well as the lights inside if you want to work on the coup. Uh, also, Inside, uh, we have a camera, so you can send text messages to the coop and it will send you a live picture of how it is inside the coop at the moment. Uh, there's a water line inside, uh, also a feeder at the bottom, which is all completely automatic. Um, there is skis that go all around, which aren't present here, and that protects from predators coming in as well as chickens coming out. Uh, the flaps are automatic. They do open and close depending on the outside wind and uh, inside temperature. Uh, for example, if there's a driving rain coming from the side, uh, that side will close um, and the other sides will keep, stay open. Uh, the wheels are omnidirectional, so they will turn uh, on a 90 and the machine can move sideways as well as frontwards and backwards. Is, this machine is 100% solar powered. Uh, it has enough battery reserve for five days. Um, also, if ever there's an error or out of feed, it will send you a message. Uh, the light will start flashing, so if you're driving by, you can see that your machine has an error. You can go and check it out. In the back, we have the batteries in a drawer, which are easy access. Um, we have a bin and the water tank under here, which we can fill with a banjo coupler. Also, if ever the batteries do die, there is an onboard battery charger that you can just plug a generator and charge your batteries. Three years now, we've been uh, using this, these machines to, to raise chickens. Last year, we raised 400 chickens. We're planning on raising a little over this uh, this upcoming year. It takes me five to 10 minutes a day to raise my chickens, so I decided to go bigger, and it's, it's so worth it, I think. So what's the story behind how it, it came to be, how all the, the different pieces came together to make something like this? Well, my, I was talking to my sister, and I was wondering what was trending these days, and she said pastured poultry. That's that's where you got to go and I'm like well we could probably make a coop and move it by hand every day but I'm like you know that's that's quite labor intensive so I decided to automate it completely and so what's your background that you could put all this together and, and make it work like well this? I'm a farmer myself my dad has a dairy and we have 1500 acres of grain farming uh, after that I went for mechanical engineering in uh, Montreal and as I'd come back to the farm and kind of use my knowledge and apply it to the farm and you manufacture this yourself too? Yes, yeah, okay. yes we do, it's here in Manitoba. Okay, so do you have a price tag on, on what one of these units is, is worth or a ballpark? Well, this smaller one, it'll be sold for less than $10,000. Uh, you could rent it year per year, so you get all the grain uh, with the machine at the beginning of the season and you raise your chickens. For your bigger models, uh, which go, and go up to, up to uh, 200 chickens, uh, those are $18,000 and your return on investment, three to four years. Okay, oh wow. So where do you see this going in the future? Do you have further ideas in terms of what this could look like? There is a range of products that could come with this. So eventually it would be like a, a multi-purpose platform that could easily raise chickens, rabbits, layers, all sorts of different animals. And I think it's the way to go because like again, the, the demand is there for, for anything pastured, so. All right, very cool. Keep us in the loop. 
with, uh, with how this goes, Daniel. Thanks for your time. Thank you.